Hello lovely viewers and welcome back to another video. Today we're diving into a plant-based adventure with spaghetti squash. I'll guide you through cooking it to perfection, preparing a delicious sauce, and incorporating plant-based meat. So let's dive right in. So you're going to need one spaghetti squash. This is going to be enough to feed two people. You're going to need a towel to put the squash on as you cut it so that it doesn't roll around. So you're going to cut both ends off of the squash and it is very tough to cut through. So make sure that you have a sharp knife and you're going to need to use a lot of elbow grease to get through that. Just be careful while you're cutting it. Once you have both ends cut off, you're going to turn it so that it's length long ways and you're going to cut length lengthways down the middle. Carefully, uh, you're going to scoop out the seeds and all the stringy bits. It might be a little challenging getting those stringy bits out. You could cut them out or use a knife. But this is what it should look kind of like um, once it's all scooped out. So now you're going to take some olive oil and you're just going to like drizzle it um, all throughout the spaghetti squash. You can also use a brush and brush it in. And you're going to season it with salt and pepper. So now that the spaghetti squash is all seasoned, you're gonna place the squash halves cut side down on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper or aluminum foil. And you're gonna put it in the oven to bake for 45 minutes or until the flesh is tender. And um, so now as that's cooking, I'm going to prepare the meat sauce. I'm using this impossible meat. This is my favorite type, the one that's in the log form. And basically you'll cook it just like you would real meat. You just Fry it for on um, medium high heat, stir it pretty frequently. It'll change from a pale pink to brown. And just make sure that it's heated up to 165 degrees and cook, cook through thoroughly. Now for the um, actual tomato sauce, I'm using a, a can or store-bought tomato sauce. I'm heating it up, adding about half of the meat, mixing it in. I add a little extra seasonings as well because I like mine's a little spicy. And yeah, and I also add in some chopped spinach. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I do that. All I do is I take just a handful of fresh spinach and I cut it using a pair of food scissors. And yeah, and it basically just makes it, just tastes a little bit more fresh, adds a little extra nutrition. That's how I like to make my sauce. And so I just pulled out the spaghetti squash, pierce it with a fork, it will be um, it should pierce easily. That's when you know it's done. If it doesn't, put it back in the oven and bake for another 10 minutes. And this is what the inside of it looks like. The um, squash, you can go ahead and flake that with the fork, just like I'm doing here. It should flake easily and voila, it looks like spaghetti. Hence the name spaghetti squash. All right, so we're not done yet. I know, getting a little exciting, but now we're going to add our tomato sauce. So I'm pouring it on and then I'm going to use a fork to just get it mixed in so that the sauce is able to get to the bottom and mixed around with the um, veggie, um, well, spaghetti squash noodles. And I'm gonna add a little more as well as, well as add some of the meat on the top. Now, if you're vegan, you can stop here. Um, or if you want, you can add a vegan um, mozzarella cheese. I, however, this time I'm using real cheese and I'm also topping it with um, Parmesan cheese. And just for it to look pretty and add a little extra flavoring, I'm adding oregano, basil, and parsley. The last step, I'll pop it in the oven for five minutes or until the cheese is melted. And you're gonna come out with this beautiful spaghetti squash. Next step is to plate it. You can have whatever you want. You can do a salad. I just added a little Texas toast. And that is it. Super easy, super quick. One of my favorite recipes. Um, 
spaghetti squash, low calories, gluten free. You can adjust it, change the toppings, make it how you want. But yeah, definitely it is worth a try. And this is the taste test. And as you can see, mm, yum, yum, yum. It's so good. I highly recommend it. So give it a try. Let me know what you think. Well, thank you guys once again for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.